going to at least 33 films and putting all the, the special events and the great opportunity to see things you never get to see otherwise. Our film festival is famous for having talent. We have a who's who of the last probably 80 years of Hollywood that have come to our film festival. You come to the film center in, um, on the Tivoli campus and we'll be moved over here to see photographs of people going back as far as Lily and Gish up to the most popular and biggest uh, talent of the last few years. So. They love this festival, it's known worldwide as a place to come and a great place for filmmakers. This is a wonderful experience. I think um, anytime you can come out and show your film to people who love film and who love to see films in theaters, um, you're, you're a winner. You have to be able to experience it and one should uh, recognize how valuable modesty and humility is. Uh, but in terms of one's work and being recognized and accepted for uh, one's work and one's body of work, it's very gratifying. The film is, is the currency by which people connect to each other. And this film festival puts Denver on the map in a very powerful way. I'm overwhelmed. You know, it's kind of like, can this be true? I mean, where we've come from 1978 to 2010 is amazing. Yeah, I think we just keep raising the bar every year. Obviously this year it was double the work because we were opening this new building, but everyone's really excited and um, we're very proud to show it off tonight. I bought this building uh, about a year ago to do the uh, to do a, a tavern and, a, and a, an entertainment venue over there, and then Tom and I got together and, uh, and uh, we were able to work a deal with the Film Society. The election was 10 months of, of incredibly hard work, but, but my cousin George, this movie, Casino Jack, he spent two years making it. What, what he did here was capture for the world, you know, some of the problems we have in Boston. I hope it's bigger than just for Denver. I hope what George did is big for, you know, the country, the world. Black Swan's going to be crazy big tomorrow night, 127 hours, it's going to be great. And then we have a lot of really other great films all week long. It's produced to a certain point, it's definitely produced to a certain point, but they, they show who you are. They can only produce you to a certain point. Yeah. Who you are truly does come out on camera. So it's crazy, it's a world when it's a circus, but at the same time, people see who you really are. And it's, you know, it's re literally reality. What's unbelievable about a show like that is that when you sign that contract, you think that it's just about you. Like, oh, this would be a great experience for me. Well, you don't realize the repercussions on your family, your mother, your grandmother, your dad, your cousins. You know, everybody that has your, your last name is now a part of what you do on TV and how your edit is. So that, if you wear like a, a highlight jacket and like yeah. colorful shoelaces the yeah. first night. What kind of nutcase would do that, you know? <laughs> you know, it's tough, but um, you just gotta go there and never do any, I always tell people when you go on reality television, never do anything you wouldn't want your future fiance's grandmother to see. Hmm. And you'd be totally fine. <laughs> There you go. Did you, where did you find the dragon himself? I'm, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, where did we find you? They were actually location scouting for films, and they were. Uh, I was at a karaoke club that they were planning on shooting at, and they In saw Tulsa. me performing and decided to uh, write me into the script. I had to change my schedule around, though, because I'm normally a storm chaser, and there was a category F4 coming through, but uh, I went ahead and shot the film anyway. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah. Storm chaser. Huh? So yeah. which one's better, like starring in a movie or performing in a movie or this whole storm thing? Movies are a lot less dangerous, but I'm the only storm chaser that does it on a motorcycle. So uh, I'm going to have to say motorcycle storm chasing. Make what is in your heart to make, tell your own stories, and don't accept no from anybody. Because if most people did that, you wouldn't see the producers, directors, stars that you see today. You really have to follow your heart, be true to that, and don't give up. The only people that don't make it in the business are the ones who quit. Welcome to the Ellie Calkins Theater. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no fear, the camera's here, and the microphones, and they wanna know, oh, 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 the if you are what you say I said to somebody, what would you rather be? I'll ask you, better or the best? And because I don't want uh, to make uh, any of us to make a mistake, I, then it's, I say that uh, just understand that uh, uh, the best is an end. And, uh, and that uh, we know no beginnings and we know no ends. And, uh, uh, and, and, and the world would say, oh, it's like a star. It takes slices out of us like prosciutto. And then all these stars out there are somewhat burnt out. And uh, so you always want to work and strive to be better than the best. Yeah. So how do you feel Denver is as actual theater or Well, it looks pretty town? great, Bear. Oh, I, lo I, I like it a lot. I, I won't see any theater here. I won't see any movies here. I see people here, but I see... Not, not all, and I, I'm uh, quite a realist. I see uh, a sunshine here today, and, I, and now I'm looking forward to a good sunrise. And here's a lot of people here. I like it very much. Well, there will be a lot of filmmakers and other people who are showing up in between uh, films, of course, and then the local music is there all night. And then there'll be you know stunning conversation with local film fanciers and filmmakers. And I will be there. And he will be there. Awesome. And you bring the party, right? Uh, yes, I, I typically do. I think I have it. I should actually look. Yeah, I got it. I got the party. Good, good. Well, we can rest assured that the party will be there and we'll have a good time tonight. A movie about a, a fascinating experience of uh, endurance and courage that uh, this young man went through. And we're looking forward to seeing what Danny Boyle has done with the story. I've seen a, a lot of movies recently where, you know, people have gone, overcome, like, trials and tribulations and then it's actually been depicted on film. Yeah. Did you find that, like, therapeutic or was it kind of hmm, traumatic or painful? Or uh, all, of, all of the above? You know, if I had one adjective to say, that it was deepening. That for me, it, it took me even more into this experience, this story, that it actually takes me back through that place. Hey there, Aaron. Is it true? You didn't tell anyone where you were going. I think it's a tremendous actor, first of all, with James Franco, and I think he has the ability to portray many different things. So it'll, it'll be fascinating to see what he does with it. The best part of it is, is that it connects me with that joy of why it was that I got out of there. It was to get back to my family, both the family of my past and this vision of a family in my future, including a little boy who appeared to me in this kind of premonition. And someday I, I was like, that's my future son. And then 
he's here. He's nine months old now. Wow. His name is Leo. Yeah, he's. Uh, I don't, my, my, my parents have him. Oh, he's over here now. Yes, but, so he's with us tonight. This is my wife, Jessica, the uh, mother of the, of the little guy. And the, that was why I got out of there. Don't give up. Aaron, do not give up. It was by far the most intense experience in my life. I think that in a ways, though, it was actually the greatest blessing that, that I could ever really have uh, given to me is, is something that would change my life, transform me. Um, for Danny and, and James, you know, this was a big gift for me. Uh, they, they've taken it to give to audiences, and I feel really honored for that. Uh, this marks 24 hours of being stuck. I've been chipping away. Mm. Want to keep warm with anything? I have about 150 milliliters of water left, which should keep me alive till tomorrow night. If I'm lucky. So that's it. Mom, Dad, I haven't appreciated you as I know that I could. I love you guys, and I'll always be with you.